Hands up if you need 10 minutes of motivation today to clean and declutter. I am going through seasonal items. I've got scarves to declutter, nail varnish. I've been doing some more painting of shoes, so let's dive in. Diana Demerick here, ra ra ra. I am a routines coach and I'm here this year to help you to simplify and to thrive. This is our Monday check-in. I am giving you 10 minutes of motivation. By the end of this video, you're going to be up and running. And if you want to follow along with the Fly Lady system, that's a system that I teach. We are working on the bedroom this week for our detailed cleaning and decluttering. Fly Lady Zone 4. But really, just work wherever you can. But the main thing is that, that you do something, because once we get that momentum going, that's when we're, we're going to see some results. So I'm going to go through some seasonal clothes and, you know, I'm here in Denmark and usually I have done the changeover before now, but this morning below freezing again and I'm still wearing thermal trousers, but hey ho, that's what it is. Starting with the seasonal stuff first and most of my, my clothing, even though we have four distinct seasons here in Denmark, I can layer it up or down. These are things that I really cannot wear in winter. And, and I'll explain as we go. And all I'm doing is I'm going to look at each item and say, is it something that I definitely want to keep? If I'm not sure it's going on probation, we've talked about the probation system before. I, I've got some items from probation from last week. I'll tell you if they made it or not. And otherwise, if I'm really clear on, I, I'm not going to use it again. It goes straight into the bag for our next swap party, which is coming up in two weeks. So that's really spurring me on to, to declutter. Okay, first item is this really cute blouse. And that, that's a definite keeper. The reason that I don't wear it in the winter, I can't really layer up or down, is because it has a bow at the back. And I can't wear it the other way. So some tops you can actually wear back to front. This, this one, I can't do that. And because it's got the bow in the back, if I wear it with a cardigan or one of my beloved blazers, I, I look like the hunchback in Notre Dame, you know, with the bow sticking out. So this is definitely kind of summer, summer thing for when it's really warm and I'm just wearing that. There's no kind of completer extra, extra item on top. This one, I wasn't quite sure at the end of uh, the last last season. I think that this one is going on probation and I think it's because it's gingham. I'm not, I'm not too keen on gingham. So that's probation item. Right. And this one as well, this is a probation item. And I think it's because I, I'm not sure that I like the vertical stripes. I think I prefer horizontal stripes. I've got lots of horizontal stripes and horizontal stripes on t-shirts. And I think it's that that's bothering me. It's kind of dragging dragging me down. And in a way, I think it looks like a kind of prison. Is it like a prison outfit? Yeah. And also the collars. You can hear I'm, I'm really not thinking this one is going to make it. It's, all, it's also kind of droopy, the fabric. Probation. And, and, and I'm sure after 10 minutes, I'll say, no, that, that can go. Did you see the thing that I did with Carol Tuttle from Dressing Your Truth? We did an hour talking about dressing your truth, how to organize your closet, your wardrobe, give you tons of tips. Uh, you will know that I have uh, reduced the amount of colors in my wardrobe. I'm only wearing the colors that I really love um, to, to minimize things. And that is uh, pink, red, blue, white, and aqua. And most of the yellows I have uh, let go of. And I'm not just getting rid of them to get rid of them, but I don't feel good in, in yellow. And sometimes it works, but generally not. And I think, it, I just feel like yellows, they're not my best color. So I think all of these, this that's a yellow top for the next swap. This one, I don't do V-necks. It's a pretty blouse, but no, don't do V-necks. I don't, I don't think I've got any V-necks left in my wardrobe now. Um, I've got quite a small bust and I prefer necklines that come straight across or higher. And this one, yeah, I was never a fan of this one. Okay, so that, that can go straight to the swap. And another one. Okay, so all the yellow items are going straight to the swap. This actually came from one of our swap parties. And I even remember the year 2018. And uh, I, I love it in the summer. It's very airy and yeah, so that's that's a definite keeper. Oh my goodness, hurry up. Spring weather. And as I said, it was like 
It's below, it was below freezing at the weekend. Okay, this is another one that fits into the category of, uh, well, it gets very crushed, but it's got this big bow at the back. But I can easily steam that and have it looking nice. Okay, a skirt. I'm, I'm going to put that right on probation. You know what? This is the only skirt that I have. I have one which is kind of occasion wear, um, a glittery skirt, but I never wear skirts. So maybe, maybe the other glittery one should go. Now I'll hold on to that because it can be worn with a nice top. But in the summer, I live in uh, dresses or culotte style uh, trousers. Skirts, I just, I, I don't know what it is about skirts. Are you a skirt person? Because my friend Vibika, she loves skirts. Never ever in trousers. She, skirts and dresses. I'm always in jumpsuits uh, and dresses only in summer. I think all of these ones, I'm coming up to my trousers now. All of these ones, this, these are definite keeper. And my trousers, my, my dressier trousers, if you saw the video that I did with Carol, You'll know that I hang my trousers upside down. <laughs> that way gravity kind of keeps them looking nice because they fall with the weight. I've got two types of hanger. I, I prefer these ones because they're a bit less fiddly than, than these ones, but, but both work. So those are definite keeper. Be so nice to get into my other trousers once the weather gets better. Nice tomato red ones. Those are definite keeper. This is the more the kind of culotte style. Lovely colour of these ones. Pink to make boys wink. Yes, definitely keeper. Okay, now I've got some jeans and I've had these for years. I'm not even sure that they fit properly. Probation. And I bought these light jeans. But you know what? I don't really like that, that the wash of them. They, they come off as looking quite dirty. So I think what I'm going to do with those, a kind of bleach bath and see if I can get them looking a bit whiter, a bit brighter. I'll keep you up to date with that one. So that, that's a project. And then a couple of pairs of white jeans. Yeah, I love those. So, so those are definite keepers. And I've also got some very um, obviously uh, summer jewellery. And the yellow can go. And the multicoloured. Shall I wear that? No. I'll keep these ones. Have you ever bought jewellery in a set? You don't need to hold on to the earrings if you don't like them. You know, if you get a kind of matching uh, necklace and earrings, if you don't like them, I mean, pass them on to somebody else. So those can go. Those are staying. Those are my few kind of coloured jewellery things. That's one of the trends for, for, for spring, summer. I was just about to show you my scarf and all my scarves have fallen out the box. Oops, a daisy. Okay, let me just pop them back in. So what I was about to say before I dumped <laughs> all my scarves, the contents of the scarves box on the floor, was that when I was putting together outfits the other day, you know, I keep them kind of queued up at one end of my wardrobe. Though the weather hasn't really been conducive to wearing the, uh, the, the shorter sleeve things. So I'm kind of sticking to sweaters right now. When I was looking at the scarf for Friday's, this was Friday's outfit, and this one hopefully in the next couple of days, I went through my scarf collection, and remember, I used to have four, four huge boxes of scarves. Now I'm down to one, and at the front I've got the things that I use uh, all the time, and then at the back, uh, family heirlooms, things like that. And I discovered there were two scarves, two rogue scarves that I've had for a long time. You've seen me wearing in videos, but they're actually type two colours. Uh, I'm a type one four in the Dressing Your Truth system. If you want more explanation, go to thedressingyourtruth.com and do the little, uh, the, the little course there. It's all for free. Type one and type two. And let's keep going because I, I want to give you as much as possible in the 10 minutes. How about nail varnishes? Uh, again, I used to have a huge basket of nail varnishes. Now I just keep it to corals, pinks, uh, pinks, corals, uh, and reds. And this one I have just finished. It looks like there's a wee bit left, but it's too kind of gunky now. Remember that if you've got some kind of huge collection of nail varnishes, they are chemicals. You cannot keep them forever. So use, you know, let, let's get them used. And if you're not using them, pass them on. And this one, I've not got much left in this one. Uh, it's an SE1 Fifth Avenue, a red one. 
And Viva Kid the other day, she said, oh, do you want this, this red one? And I was like, do you even have to go to the, the, the shops, the stores? Viva has given me the color that I need. So I'm, I'm testing that today. This is the red. It's actually quite nice red, quite bright. This is just one, one layer of nail varnish. Oh, and let me tell you about the shoe painting. Now, one of the trends for this season is flat shoes, which is great for me because I don't have any uh, high heeled shoes. But I, I did have a pair of uh, more kind of ballerina flats that I just haven't been wearing. Now, they were uh, gold. If you want to know about leather painting, I've got the, those videos on my recipes and crafts playlist. Really easy. You've just got to prep the shoes first and then a couple of coats of leather paint. No, it does not wash off. And it's really good even if you don't want to change the color of your shoes. Maybe you've got some old shoes that are really comfy, but they're looking a bit scuffed. It can just give them a, a little bit of life. So don't, don't be even buying new shoes all the time. I decided just to do the, the toes and then the rim here and leave a bit of the, um, the glittery gold. And I'm really pleased with those. <laughs> and now I've started painting another pair of uh, shoes that I've had since 2018, more kind of loafer type, and they were silver. I painted them gold, and I just haven't been wearing them because I, I prefer white shoes. And I thought, Diane, <laughs> now's the time to get the white paint out. I'll give you an update on that next time. And talking of updates, promised you an update on the probation items from last week. These little uh, false collars that I use Often when we're moving from winter into spring, I can wear them underneath a sweater. Usually a sweater like this in the winter, I will wear it with uh, a normal white shirt. And then moving into spring, when I don't want too much warmth, I can add a little fake collar underneath just to give me a bit of extra pop to that item. And in the end, this one is staying. And this one, I like the small collars and small rounded collars. This one, I just feel too much like a, a priest or a minister, pastor, whatever you call it, reverend uh, in, in your country. It's just too, too high the neck. So that, that's going to the next swap party. This one, I didn't like it either. And it, it, because it's got the, the very thin white stripe, it comes off as kind of grey. That one is going... This one is staying. I do like the little frills. So that one is a keeper. Three are staying, two are going. And I hope I encouraged you to get going this morning. Are you feeling inspired now, motivated while, whether you are cleaning in this area or decluttering? Remember, if you're looking for the cleaning videos, I've got dedicated playlists for each of the Fly Lady Zones. Remember the self-care, I shall see you on Friday, but I'll be popping in before then uh, on the community tab here with some reminders and encouragement. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you will like, subscribe, share the video with a friend. I'm gonna get cleared up. I shall give you a wee shake of my pom-poms to set you on your merry way. Live long and prosper. May the decluttering and cleaning hook be with you and see you on Friday with a wrap, wrap, wrap. Okay, bye for now.